Praise the Lord, saints. No, this is not a video to teach you what a narcissist is. I think there's enough of that. This is a video uh, to basically let you know that you're a hypocrite if you continue in this conversation. The Lord said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You know, when you were involved with a narcissist, you were in the world. You had to have been because the Bible, Jesus tells you very clearly, light has no place with darkness. So if you obeyed that and you knew better, well then you should expect to get burned when you touch fire. But say you didn't know any better and you were still in the world. It's time to let go of that before I was in Christ, all those relationships and all that pain you experienced. It's time to let go and to really let God, you've got to forgive because you didn't know any better back then. So you can't point the finger at somebody who also didn't know any better. Or you might say, hey, they knew better. They knew what they were doing to me. Maybe they did. But do you get how on the deepest level of understanding that when people are outside of Christ, they have a reprobate mind. So they really don't know any better. That's why we're not called to judge non-believers. We're not even called to edify non-believers because understanding only comes by the spirit. So we instantly make hypocrite of ourselves, hypocrites of our, ourselves the more we continue to point the finger at people and to label people and even to go so far as to use scripture to say, see, Jesus called them narcissists too. See, these are the narcissists of the Bible. No, no. Any time that Jesus ever came against anyone, it was for God's glory, not his own. But you're not mad because somebody in your life came and disrespected God and was tearing down God like Goliath in the town square. You're mad because somebody did something maybe even despicable and horrible to you and tormenting to you. Maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe it was a group of people who did it. Guess what? It's time to forgive. We are making hypocrites of ourselves. The more we continue to hold on to a tether of that former pain and to act like we're so wise in our human wisdom that we're justified with these stones in our hand, I tell you right now we're not. You see, perfect love casts out perfect fear. So the Lord is perfecting you and he wants to continue in that perfect love in you, but he's not going to force you. He is not going to wrestle that anger and hate and unforgiveness from your hand. He's not going to wrestle that stone from your fingers that you say is not there. He wants you to give it to him. And when you do, he is going to expand you in every way possible. He is going to fill your heart with so much grace because you were willing to show grace to others because you're finally willing to let it go and to move forward. And the evidence that the Lord has healed you from this, that you allowed him to, that you got rid of that hate and we're just like, Lord, take it from me. I don't want it anymore. The evidence of that is that you will no longer treat people as if they're quantifiable by your experiences with them. They're not. Those aren't your people. Those are God's people. Don't play God over people. Don't point the finger and act like you're better than people because guess what? We're not better than anyone else, no matter what they did to you. That's the whole truth. You see, we need to elevate this conversation. This whole narcissist conversation is not only old, but is really low level. It is actually discussing people. And especially my sisters, you know, we get into these groups. And there's people out here with bullet points and teaching and learning. Yeah, they're the narcissist and they, this and this and they. Yeah, sis, you're right. And they're the narcissist and we're so wise now. Really? That's what we do with the blood of Christ? You can't cover those stones in your hand with the blood of Christ. It's hypocrisy. And the best part about it is if you're willing to finally just see that. Because back in the day when Jesus was like, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. They dropped the stones. At least they were honest with themselves. But today, most people sit there and they would stay holding those stones because they don't want to hear the truth. They want to remain in their feelings and in their flesh. But if you're willing to finally drop it and let it go, the Lord is going to grow you in ways that you never thought possible. And the evidence that you've really let it go is that you'll know longer ever quantify anyone, those past experiences, future experiences like that. He will fill your heart with so much love. Why? Because you finally let him cast out that fear. You might say, I'm not afraid. No, no, no. Fear manifests into anger and bitterness. And fear is why people pick up stones. You know, people hate what they don't understand. You don't understand why you got so hurt. Well, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. You shouldn't have been in that situation. So again, either you didn't know better, then why are you still pointing the finger? Now that you know better, you're going to look back and say, oh, how dare you did that to me? You shouldn't have been there. Or you were a Christian and you still went after the non-believer or whatever the situation, maybe it was even your parents, whatever it is, but you have to be able to read the scriptures to know what the Lord says to do in these situations. And I tell you what, 
God don't refer to nobody as a narcissist. And anybody who's using the scriptures to justify treating people or calling people to their face or behind their back a narcissist, as if Jesus did it when he didn't, because he didn't never stand up for his own glory. Anybody using the scriptures like that is a false teacher and a false prophet. Flee. It's time to just let the Lord do this great healing in you. I'm telling you right now, you'll be unrecognizable. It's this last little tether that so many are hanging on to. Why do you think so many Christians in the worldly Christianity, especially my sisters, are talking about narcissists? It's an enemy scheme. You know, he, he encouraged people to come against you in one way or another. To some of you, some of us, got totally destroyed by it. But you can't build in that destruction. And once you're finally out of that destruction, Psalm 40, when the Lord finally takes your foot out of that miry clay and sets your foot upon a rock and establishes your steps, you stop looking back. You could never go forward and quantify people in such a lowly manner. Why? Because it's no longer you who live but Christ through you. Jesus didn't treat people like that. And when you walk by the Spirit, you don't either, no matter what they did to you. I mean, Jesus who forgave even as he was dying on the cross, come on. Are we going to continue in this hypocrisy, in this low-level, tacky, loveless and graceless manner, especially as women of God? I think not. It's time to elevate this conversation and let the Lord take you higher than you ever thought that he could take you. And it's time to really give this to him now. Bible don't talk nothing about narcissists. Jesus was specific because he didn't want to leave nothing to our human understanding. He was specific about who not to associate with. He even lists off the traits. So don't associate with them. But if you're not associating with somebody, then don't gossip and talk behind nobody's back. Jesus didn't say we need to be teaching about the narcissist. We need to be. No, he never said that. So why are we? Pretty sure we got enough work dealing with the beam in our own eye that we need to not really be so mindful of the speck in everybody else's. We can't walk in love and grace if we continue to act like we're justified with these stones in our hands. Anybody who disagrees, show me the scripture where Jesus talks about the narcissist and I'll show you why you're wrong. Let the Lord elevate you, give you understanding and grace and love in your heart to finally just repair that heart and you will be unrecognizable and finally full of the power of the Lord, but he can't trust nobody with that Holy Spirit power, with that authority, if you're gonna be wielding it ugly by continuing to walk around with these stones that you justify. Jesus loves you and he deals in absolutes. He wants to do that complete healing in you and it is high time that you let him.